Thanks for staying with us. Uh, the court, a court has set, uh, or is set rather, to deliver judgment on alleged illegal appointment on NDDC. Uh, the Federal High Court in Abuja set October 31 to deliver that judgment on a suit filed by oil producing communities in Bayelsa and Delta states against President Bola Tinubu, contesting the appointment of Mr. Chiedu Ebie as chairman of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. The plaintiffs argue that Ebe, while from an oil-producing community, does not represent the area with the highest quantum of oil production, making his appointment a violation of the NDDC Act. The plaintiffs seek to nullify Ebe's appointment, claiming it was done in error and against the provisions of the law, and they request the court to issue an injunction preventing him from assuming the position. The defense, including President Tinubu and the Attorney General of the Federation, challenged the competence of the suit while the court adjourned the matter for judgment after hearing the final arguments from all parties. Uh, to discuss this with us is Comrade Bedford Berefa, spokesman at Joy Youth Council. Good morning and welcome to the program, Comrade. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Okay, um, let's go straight into the issue, NDDC board chairmanship. The, it's being contested. Tell us more about it. Well, uh, it's an unfortunate incident for me, uh, for a um, uh, of, of uh, a particular, um, uh, standard going to court to, con to contest the appointment of a BA, understanding the fact that a BA is also from a oil producing in the community, despising the quantum of production as it were. It is entrenched in the law. The Niger Delta, you know, if Delta State is, is suffering with the response, is giving that uh, uh, priority, that privilege at this point in time, according to the, you know, the sharing formula, to produce the chairman of the NDC board. And the government, to the that government, has looked at all factors to say, okay, this is the person they want to appoint. They shall allow the appointments there. They shall appointments where this uh, issue of going to court for frivolous uh, reasons you know is is unbecoming and it's not called for uh, in this present day in you know uh, in this present day democracy the, the federal government or, or the government in power will, 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 will always support the rule of law in ensuring that an appointment are being given and the 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 NDC act is very clear about that you know the the, the community where we uh, where we should uh, be came from it's an only policy community it doesn't matter the quantum of production if pollution take this it, it does pollution it, uh, does pollution look at, at, at the quantum of uh, uh, production before pollution take this it is also a, 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 a person and is giving the responsibility you know to bond that office we should rather support our own instead of you know going to court you cannot hear this kind of thing in the north or in, or in the or in the west where appointment is being challenged but even the people, you know, you know, amongst themselves, it's not the happy I see that. It's only in, in the Niger Delta you see where we fight our own. Whereas when the outsiders come, we we'll give them that maximum support. Our own, we keep fighting ourselves. You know, how long shall we keep fighting ourselves? You know, in, in, in for progress, we cannot be, uh, be progressive if we keep fighting ourselves. You know, the NDC has always been known for in fighting, and that is a. Uh, and the RIC firms at it, we should rather put our hands together and build the Niger Delta of our dream rather than you know fighting ourselves in fighting to say the appointment should be. If the appointment is not given to him, should it be given to the people that went to court? It will not be given to them. So they can have the appointment uh, uh, appointment uh, uh, also uh, and uh, rather than uh, uh, coming together to ensure that we put our house it, uh, together and build the Niger Delta of our dream, we should stop this infighting and build ourselves. That is my our position. When you say our position, you mean the Ijo Youth Council, right? Yeah, yeah, the Ijo Youth Council, the Ijo Youth Council, because the truth be told, the era of infighting has not brought any development on us. Yes, you can say the end of the IRS also, uh, uh, as spokesman of the Ijo Youth Council, we challenged and passed vote of no confidence on the uh, uh, MD, or who led uh, uh, in the NDC. But upon that uh, uh, challenging of several vote, vote of no confidence, you will see after the aftermath of, of that uh, of that uh, of that uh, challenge, of that questioning, you will see the massive work that is ongoing. Even the interest group that was abandoned, the Asan Intervention Agency, or after our cry, that 
that road, as, as we speak, is passable, though it is not 100 percent. But the intervention agency, the NDC, has intervened and uh, provided support, you know, and, 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 and protected thousands of lives, you know, from and goods and property from being destroyed by you know, intervening and ensuring there is that passage. That is what we, that what we are duty to question, you know, the quality of service rather than us saying, don't give this person the service. If the service is taken out from that person, we should be giving to you. It should not be giving to you. So the era of fighting ourselves, you know, for no just costs, and uh, going to court here and there, spending money, give uh, 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 give the lawyers, uh, you know, their daily bread every now and then. You see, it's totally unlawful, and that is not what will take us forward. So the Egyptian council have said that this is not what will take us forward. Rather than fighting ourselves, let's see how we can call, uh, we can we, we can balance things and support ourselves for a progressive Niger Delta. That does not exclude the fact that if we see what is wrong, we will not say what is wrong. If the P has done something wrong, if the P has been involved in corrupt practices, if the P is, is, is eating siphoning money, that is questionable. You can go and question such uh, uh, such, but not that his appointment uh, should be given to him, it should be given to this. Uh, that is uh, it's totally unnecessary and it's a waste of, uh, you know, of, 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 of what process is for me. That's my opinion. But of course, you know, any matter that is before the court, it, it depends on the court. It's, it lies on the court to give the right interpretation and justice uh, being said. Uh, the people who brought the suit are quoting the NDDC Act and saying that uh, the chairmanship should come from the people with the highest quantum of, uh, of uh, production of this crude. Is that the true position of the Act? Work us through what the provisions of the Act are uh, for, regarding the appointment of the chairman. The appointment of the chairman, yes, there is that uh, provision to now say that the person must be from an oil producing community. The person that you manage should be uh, an oil producing community. I know the oil producing community, you know. There are two sides to it. There are certain persons pipeline pass through them. If there is an explosion in those uh, pipeline uh, passage, you will see that the community. So affect the community greatly. And this uh, man, a uh, is from a community that is producing oil, that is contributing no matter how small it is. So quantum of provision is never it is not in the act, it's not it's not anywhere. Found the to now say the, uh, what is the measure? How do they measure the fact that this community does not produce uh, uh, much oil, so therefore it should not be given? It's frivolous. If there's nothing is anywhere to be had, the act has also provided that the oil producing community, the Niger Delta state, must be from the oil producing uh, in, in, in the community. Is it everywhere in Delta that produce oil? No. But this man is community produces oil. That is enough. That should survive. That survives for his appointment. That justifies his appointment. And rather than putting our arms together, we are now saying remove him. If they remove him, and my question is, will you with them that they will put? There is not in the act, it is judiciously, uh, and if you, if you see that the general, also, those are uh, the defendants, and you can see that, of course, uh, the court will, will take it. But for the NDC Act, it is clearly stated that anybody that is manning that position must be, must come from oil producing area. And this man is, is coming from oil producing area. Quantum of production is irrelevant. It does not matter. It does not hold any any sway. So any, any it does not it does not have it does not hold water as it were. So that is that is a significant decimal you know in the discussion on this on this situation. The NDC Act does not you know give room for uh, that it must be high holding quantum before that such a person is appointed. That's not uh, what the, the uh, act says. The act simply says Oil producing community and this man appear in some um, oil producing community that gives him the uh, local standing, you know, to you know to man that position and he's doing very 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 well. Uh, one is emergence as chairman of the NDC board. You can see the in the working relationship between the chairman and the board. You can see the working relationship and the massive problem, uh, in the progress being made in within the shortest period of time in, in, under his leadership. Well, maybe it's just a matter of terminology. So let me ask this. Uh, since it's almost everything in Nigeria that we do zoning, is there uh, any understanding, whether formally written or, or un informally, uh, that there should be zoning in this chairmanship? Maybe that's the reason why they're crying. Yeah, yeah, yes, 
there's there's that zoning uh, there's that zoning uh, uh, formula on which to do there's that zoning uh, this in a in the United States there's that rotational uh, uh, provisions for uh, the apprenticeship and the chairmanship and uh, so now Bayasa has the responsibility to produce provide the, produce the empty then the other states has is has the quota to uh, you know to, uh, produce the chairman and that is what uh, the uh, the federal government has done a deal is from Delta State is from an all person community in Delta State and the zoning has all its way. Rather than supporting and uh, contributing, they are now saying the man should be removed so that you will not be you will not be there. You will not be there. I wonder why the Bayasa uh, 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 from Bayasa will now uh, you know, have that kind of uh, have kind of uh, that kind of mindset to now fight somebody that is in Delta State. It is totally uncalled for, it is unnecessary for me. My personal opinion. Okay, uh, let's let's uh, assess the um, the amount of per the level of performance of this EBA. Uh, that could also be something that triggered this fight against him. How would you rate his performance as the NDDC chairman? Well, he, he, he plays a directive role. He's the chairman of the board. The day-to-day -day running of the activity lies within the managing director, the MD. And for, for me, you know, like I said, I question the MD, the NDC performance some months ago. I question the performance saying that it is not about producing light, providing light in the community, but you go beyond providing light in the community. And you can see that after the aftermath of that questioning, you can see the massive development in the Niger Delta. And under the leadership of MD, we take it or leave it. They are, do, they are doing their best. They are doing their best, you know, to ensure that you know, the NDC mandates is being upheld. You can see the massive uh, construction ongoing, and you can see that intervention health-wise in the in the, the agri sector, in all sectors, they are contributing their quota and they are doing uh, meaningfully well, as it were, to ensure that uh, the dividend of democracy uh, cut across the Niger Delta states. And, and for me, it's, this is one of the very focused. Uh, uh, in the world, uh, though of course there is no hundred percent. The racketeering, job racketeering, internal issues are there. Those are uh, those are those are foundational issues in the Nigerian in the Nigerian state. But however, the NDC relatively under a PS leadership and, and under a, a Samuel Okuku, they are doing their best to ensure you know that the dividend of democracy is you know cut across the Niger Delta states. Well, are there some things that you, you would think uh, NDDC should be doing at this point uh, that will make it more effective? Well, of course, the renewable energy, like we have said, down that number, the NDC partner, because the, the power, power, uh, power supply, or, uh, you know, is, is that we move from the, you know, from the exclusively to the concurrent list. So uh, we are advocating that the NDDC should partner with state governments. You know, for independent power supply in the various agencies in the United Delta State. Right now, as we speak in Bayasa, you know, they, for the last three months, there's no, there no power. Whereas we have two uh, gas turbine line fallow begging, you know, to be to, to be utilized. The NDC should partner with, with various states that are interested in generating power. To do, to do so, we expect the NDC to partner with state governors to carry out monumental projects that will impact directly to the country, to the grassroots. And that's what, that's what we expect. We, of course, we expect more. Uh, really, but we expect renewable energy should be, should be, should, should be, should be, uh, should be maximized. And all that technological, you know, uh, technological advantage. Now, like in the, the, the youth program that uh, they, they open portal for people to apply. We are waiting for its implementation. We are saying that that uh, is, is a laudable project. It's a laudable one. And what implementation should be not optimal by now. The names of those successful candidates should be published, and uh, and the need uh, the needed empowerment should be done, and so that uh, you know economic liquidity can be seen in the Niger Delta. For us, and I desire as as he joined his council is that we want to see a Niger Delta that is productive. We want to see an industrial Niger Delta, and the NDC sits on a very strategic position to ensure that that comes to bear. And what 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 are the template for an industrial society? Power is paramount. Road connectivity, and I give it to them in terms of road construction, they are really doing their best in, in terms of connecting strategic roads, the main road, and some strategic road and strategic partnership they are doing that, and which, which, is the, which is the landscape 
for uh, in the, in the, in the, in the industrialization. So we are saying that the industrialization, 20 years industrialization plan should be should be strategic by partnering with state government for power uh, uh, for for uh, producing power you know, for the various states and also carrying out strategic you know, you know, um, uh, projects that will affect and impact directly on the people. We expect much more. And but however, you cannot take it away from them that are doing their best to ensure you know, that the dividend of the new protein costs are plus. Like in the agrarian sector, you will see the massive uh, environment and the massive uh, 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 agricultural uh, template that they have. And, and it is very, very laudable. I, I give it to them. All right. Uh, well, this is how much we can take, uh, Comrade uh, Bedford Berifa. We'd like to thank you for coming on the program this morning. Thank you very much for having me. As always, I'm really, really grateful. And please uphold the duty that you are doing. You are doing us so, uh, so proudly, you know, and ensuring that the Niger Delta is in focus every now and then. Thank you so much, Plus TV, for your contribution to the development, you know, developmental quest of the Niger Delta. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, uh, we've been talking with Comrade uh, Bedford Berefa. He's the spokesperson of a Joint Youth Council, and we're looking at the contest over the NDDC chairman. And uh, that's what we were discussing this morning. Uh, his position is that he should be given, or the chairman should be given the support that is needed to move Niger Delta forward rather than the infighting, which does nobody any good. Well, that's how we are going to wrap it up on the show this morning. We do hope that you had a wonderful time. Let's do it again tomorrow. My name is Nyamgul Agaji. Bye for now.